Hi guys, Michael with armchairbuilder.com here. It's so important that we carefully design and build our new home foundation. If we don't, we can have water leaks and major structural problems that can cause tens of thousands of dollars to correct in the future. So to help prevent these problems, we're in the process of completing a three-part video series on house foundation best practices. We've already covered foundation engineering, and I put a link to that video in the description below. Today we're going to talk about another very critical piece for preventing structural issues, and that's the bearing soil beneath the foundation. We need to make sure the soil beneath the foundation will support the house. So there are three important people that can help owner builders make sure they have the proper soil beneath the footings to support their new home. First, the excavation contractor can give us an opinion based on the soil that's encountered when digging for the foundation. This machine operator digs foundations daily and is experienced in seeing different types of soil. This operator can typically tell us when substandard soil is encountered. So the second person that can give us an opinion about the soil bearing capacity is the geotechnical engineer. This professional will come out to the site after the hole is dug for the foundation and will check along the future footing locations. They will then provide an opinion as to whether we should proceed with forming up the footings or they'll provide alternative solutions to deal with the poor soil encountered. This check is the most expensive at about $250 on average. The next person that can provide an opinion as to whether the soil bearing capacity is right for your new home is the local building inspector. The inspector typically comes out to the job site to look at the footing forms prior to pouring. We don't want to rely solely on the inspector, however, because they typically only come out after the footings are formed up. If the soil is deemed to be substandard at that point, we'll need to remove the forms and make adjustments and then put them back, which is a lot of extra work. So one other option for owner builders that want to self-check the soil bearing capacity is to use something called a penetrometer. Let's take a look at this $50 tool that will help you determine bearing soil capacity in just a few minutes. Okay guys, so here's the penetrometer I was talking about. I don't know if you can see this, but there are numbers on the barrel here. Each one of these, it goes 0.5, 1, 1 1.52. Each one of those marks is a half a ton which is a thousand pounds, okay? So we're gonna have to do a little math when we use this to make sure that we understand the footings are set up for 1,500 pounds per square foot, and that's not quite a ton. A ton is 2,000 pounds. The other thing we're gonna do before we use this is take this little red cap off, and when we go to place the pocket penetrometer into the ground, we wanna make sure that it goes all the way into this little mark where my finger is, my fingernail is here, and stop it when it gets to that mark, and then we're gonna read this, this white band is gonna move. This is gonna move like that, and then it's gonna tell us exactly how many tons that we're getting forces pressing back on the penetrometer. So let's go take a look. Okay guys, so we're down here at the excavation for the open book build foundation, and we're in the garage footing location area. And you can see here these marks here from the tooth, the teeth from the bucket, and these are the areas between the teeth. Um, we're going to test this area where the teeth are just because it's nice and smooth and it'll give us a nice spot to see where the, the line is going to be covered up. This loose stuff, when we go to install the footing forms, they're going to clean this out. This loose stuff needs to go away manually with a shovel. So that'll be a part of that. that. But right now we're going to push the penetrometer down till this line right here is covered and it's even with the ground. Okay, one, two, three, right there. So now we're gonna lift it up and take a look at that line. See where that ends up? It's at 1.25 is where this white line is now on the barrel here. What that tells you is that the pushback was 1.25 tons, which um, if I'm right, my math is right, it's about 2,500 pounds. And right now the, the design for the house, the way we've got it set up is for 1,500 pounds. So we're well over the 1,500 pounds, so we're good to go. We're going to do this in all the footing locations throughout the foundation area and make sure that we have plenty of bearing capacity for this new home. And this product is available through Amazon. But for those of you uncomfortable using this product, um, it's a very important task and check for quality check. You may want to just call your geotechnical engineer, also called soils engineer, to do a complete check for you to make sure that your house will be properly supported. So that does it for our second part of our Foundation Best Practices video series. Stay tuned for our third and final video next week on foundation drainage and waterproofing. And if you need free help to build your own home, 
stop by and see us at armchairbuilder.com. Take care.